Well, hey there, Mission Control. It is about 27 Fahrenheit. I think that's about, what, negative one, like 1 1.2 or something like that Celsius out. It is cold, my goodness. We don't have any snow yet, uh, but it is definitely winter. You can feel it. So uh, today I'm back out here and we're starting, unfortunately, with the, uh, the cooler today, the cube, the cooler cube. So, my last video, I declared it fully operational. And once I got done taking that video, I was out here at night, I was cleaning up everything, and I wanted to secure uh, the uh, air conditioner unit a little bit more. So what I did is I took some metal strapping and I put it from here to here and here to here. You'll notice the metal strapping is not there anymore. Now on this side, I was able to put the, the screw right in between the coils without hurting them. So I went in the exact same spot on the other side. This is the last thing I did. And, and as soon as I put this one in, I said, you know, that's good enough, just leave it. But I'm like, no, 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 let's be safe. Let's be safe, safety Sally. And I put another one over here. As soon as I got it through here, I was going really slow. As soon as I got through there, pssst. Oh my goodness. Uh, to say that I had to censor myself from that video would be an understatement. I was so angry. Um, I have to buy a whole new one of these. So I bought it and uh, it's here now. And if there's anything I've learned about this whole thing, well, one, that was just a, I don't know, unlucky. It was stupid. It was just stupid. It was just stupid. I was stupid. I didn't think it through all the way. I should have, should have stopped. But, uh, if there's anything I learned when these types of things occur on this project is that they happen for a reason. Um, I don't know if I've told you the, the rain story. So I'll tell you that story. It's YouTube. We tell stories. So I was out working on the building last year. About this, uh, it was about October uh, and the rain had just came. And kind of getting everything tidied up and working all hard, real hard all summer. And the rain started. And I came home one day after work and there was like one inch of standing rain everywhere. So it was a good news, bad news story. The good news is I was really good at leveling uh, the entire area because that's why you had all that standing water. Second, the bad news story, excuse me, the bad news story is you're not supposed to have a perfectly level area. You're supposed to have a crown in it so that water runs off. So I didn't have good civil engineering skills. They're better now. Uh, in addition, I needed a drain. So I started digging the French drain around the uh, solar panels and around the building. It was yucky. It was mucky. I was in this thing with rain gear on. It was horrible. It was just horrible. Just horrible time. And I was out there digging, got gravel delivered, got gravel started to, uh, uh, gravel was delivered and I had to finish up the trenches and I was almost done digging the trenches and it just opened up and started raining. Cats and dogs. Mass hysteria. It was horrible. And I was like, why? Why? Come on, I'm out here working. I'm trying to do what you want me to do, God. Okay, what's going on? I'm just being honest with you. This is real Jeff here. So I'm sitting there stewing. And I'm so mad. And then I look down and I look into the trenches. And the trenches, it's rained so hard that the trenches have been filling up with water as the water was running off the building. But what I found out is because that water was running into the trenches, I saw that I didn't have enough of a slope. The water was actually backing up, which means the French drains wouldn't work, which means the water would have stayed around the building and we would have had a horrible water intrusion, which we would have been even worse because we still have water intrusion, but it would have just been even worse. Moral of the story, you ask? Well, even though God brings the rain, and you may think that's not what you need, it is. And that's this type of situation here. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why this had to happen because I was working hard. I was doing it for the right reasons. You know, I had the right motives. I wanted to make sure it was safe. I wanted to make sure it was secure. I made a stupid choice on my part. It's my, my decision. Uh, but I know that it happened for a reason. I don't know what that reason is. Maybe there's something wrong with this. Maybe, uh, I, I don't know, maybe it would have blown up when we we're driving, you know. I don't know, but there's some reason why this isn't supposed to be in here, so we're going to get it out today. So thanks for entertaining my story. It's a true story, uh, and it has definitely changed the way I look at things. Um, so even though I still get angry, I still get upset, I can go inside, I can take a deep breath and go, okay, well, you know, yeah, it, it totally sucked, but it happened for a reason, and I just have to have faith and trust. So 
Today, we're gonna get this thing out of here, and we're also gonna put some linoleum down, some vinyl flooring inside of the cube, and really kinda just make it real sweet, real slick in there. Um, and we're also got some foil tape to seal up some of the edges to help with humidity and all that. So, let's get started. So, the, uh, here's a replacement, it's brand new. I think that one I got was actually used. I bought it from Amazon and I can't remember if I chose used or not, but this one is brand new. Uh, it's $244 from Amazon. It is an LG LW8016ER, um, 8000B2 unit. And it has to be this one because it has to go, it, every, all the dimensions, unless I, I uh, well honestly I just didn't want to take a chance of buying another one that says it has the same dimensions, but it being off by a little bit here or there since the hole that I have for it is custom made for this particular unit. Now, in the future, if I ever want to build another one of these, I should probably look at that problem a little bit more, and I should probably design the hole so it's a little more universal. But, hey, it's still freaking cool, and it works. So let's get this thing out of here, get it opened up, and get the old one out and put this in. So if you recall, uh, when we are in here last time, the good news, bad news story is air conditioner fits, but to get to it you got to take these items out. Luckily the, uh, the uh, glue, apparently I didn't put enough in it, never really stuck. So that's God watching out for you. I'm going to get this front plate off and disconnect it and then that should come right out. I just plugged it in and uh, we're going to turn it on. Power works. Alright, so now i got to take it apart and install the cool bot into it. All right, just got done putting it all back together. Total time so far has been like 30 minutes, so really not that bad. I'm choosing to leave these unglued for obvious reasons. If something goes wrong with the uh, air conditioner, I make another stupid mistake, whatever it is, uh, I'll take them out again. So we're just gonna get some of the metal tape that I have. We're gonna seal up all the seams and uh, call it good. Plugged it in, everything works, the cool bot's in. Uh, it's really cold out here right now. In fact, it's starting a little bit of snow is coming down. It's kind of like frozen fog snow, though, not like real snow. Not yet, anyway. So, uh, going to stop here, going to get the tape out, start sealing everything, and then we've got the floor to put in.
Pretty. Just got some good old fashioned metal duct tape here. And I'm gonna use it to seal the seams. We'll put this in the category of things you should do before you turn the camera on and crawl into a small space. So I'm going to be using these pre-cut vinyl tiles that are supposed to be self-stick. I just cleaned everything out. What I'm doing is I'm just breaking the... So you're not supposed to stall this when it's this cold, but I don't have a place to put it. Where it's warm and sadly I'm out of diesel and I'm going to get this done today. So in my stubbornness I'm doing it this way. It could bite me, but so far my plan is I'm going to get this installed, go move the vehicle into the garage uh, where it's significantly warmer, much above freezing, and life will be good. But the good news is in putting this in, because it is cold, I was able to break out the hole. This is the hole that I drilled that goes down to the uh, uh, spare tire release. So you'd stick your rod down there, screw it around, and everything would work out. So I got that all taken care of. I just got all the easy pieces in. Now's the hard part. Now I actually have to measure and cut everything. But they go in real easy. I'm really, really happy with it. I think this is gonna be great. So definitely very happy. All right, it's coming along nicely. Uh, you just cut it with a razor blade knife and uh, it works pretty, really pretty slick actually. It's pretty nice stuff. Well, there we go. I'd say it's really done now. I had to use the heat gun here right up in the front because these are shorter pieces not as long, so not as much adhesion is going on with this cold weather. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop talking here. I'm going to end this video. I'm going to go park this rig up in the uh, garage where it's nice and warm. Well, warmer. Uh, we don't have a heated garage. It's just, you know, it's attached to the house, so it's warmer than freezing. Get this up there. Let it sit in there. Let this uh, blue really set. But, man, this turned out real nice. Turned out really, really nice. Air conditioner's in. It's totally secure. Electrical works, lights work, doors work, everything's good, everything works. We got the cap in for the spare tire. Really happy with this. This is actually, this is really cool. This is one of the best projects I've done. This turned out really nice. So it's cool to sit back, you know, when you're done building something and just see where you went from nothing to something. In this case, went from idea, drew it in CAD, uh, made sure everything fit right, built it, tested it and here it is ready to rock and roll pretty cool anyway hey thanks for joining along thanks for everybody and your comments on this project and the suggestions that you have uh, really appreciate those keep them coming if you did enjoy this video be sure to give us a thumbs up and also hit subscribe and you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter if you like in the meantime this is the real Martian out <laughs>